Hey guys, Music Man 101 here. Um, <clears throat> I had some people ask me on how to download the Third Age mod, so I want to do that really quick. It's not not that hard. Um, you go to the website. Well, I will I will put a link in the description, and then you you can see the pictures and all the good stuff that comes with it. And then you want to scroll down to the bottom. Now here's your install links. Okay. You want to download part one. There's two parts to the download. You want to go ahead, you can go ahead and download all of them and you'll have to do a 3.1 patch also. So you can just click that and download it, click that and download it, click that and download it. You can download them all at the same time. However, when you download them, you want to click part one first and install it. And then you want to install it to it should automatically do it give you the option but you want to go to program files you want to go to Sega and Medieval Total War it should automatically pick that for you so okay so once you install part one and you install part two and put it in the same directory and then put it and in install the third 3.1 patch. Okay. After that, you're about ready to go. Now it'll. Here's the differences, though. If you're using the disc, uh, the Gold Edition disc, it's going to be a little different. So when you install, when you download, you install it. Uh, you just take it to your Sega folder like I showed you and that should be it however if you are using Steam it's gonna be a little different um, what you do here is you go to your Steam folder on Medieval 2 Total War if I can find it there we go uh, right here common Medieval 2 Total War mods okay now, you have, you know, the Americas, British, Britannia, Crusades, and Teutonic. You pick the campaign. Now, this is for only Steam users. So, you pick the campaign that you do not want to play anymore. Okay. So, I picked the Americas because it's not that fun. I mean, I enjoyed Britannia. I enjoyed the Crusades and Teutonic. But I didn't play the America the much. I mean, I played a little bit and wasn't into it. So, I, as you can see, I renamed my Americas shithead and you can see it there that's the Americas campaign so you rename that and then you go back um, here's what you can do you can go back and when you go to your Sega folder go to mods your third age total war will be in here okay so what you can do you can just click and drag it to your desktop copy it and then go back to where to our Steam folder, we go Steam, Steam Apps, Common, uh, Medieval 2 Total War, Mods, and then you've already renamed your Americas folder. So you drag it, click and drag it to here, and it'll say Third Age. Now you rename the folder to what you wanted it to be. Say if you renamed the Crusades folder, you will want to rename the Third Age mod folder Crusades. That will enable you to uh, yes, I'm downloading King Arthur for Dark Angel Gaming. I'm going to start that. Um, so when you go to Medieval Two War Kingdoms, you'll click that and that annoying menu with a loud music will come up and you click play and then you can pick the campaign that's how you will go to the third age if you're not using steam and you're using the disk all you have to do is just keep it in your Sega folder and it'll have a desktop shortcut to the third age and you should be fine there so uh... yeah it's a little different f from disk users than steam users so i tried to cover uh... each of them so for those of you your steam you have to do a little extra uh... renaming folders and everything so I think that this is, um, I think that's all there is to talk about. Uh, check out Dark Angel Gaming. I'm going to be starting a King Arthur uh, 
role-playing war game uh, parts on there. So please comment, rate, and subscribe. Check out Dark Angel Gaming, and this is Music Man One Hundred and One signing.